Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new series on the channel, where we're going to be playing some better Minecraft. Now, I have played this mod pack before, back when I made a 100 days video. And I gotta say, I had so much fun playing that. So much so that I just wanted to come back and maybe have a little bit more of a chill time. Maybe take this mod pack a little bit slower. Wait, is this an apple tree? Break it. Okay, well, it didn't give me... Oh, oh I gotta right click them. It gives me apples. Yo, hang on a minute. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I kind of wanted to come back to this mod pack. Maybe take it a little bit slower, see what it has to offer. Because in that 100 days, me and Drift were just sort of speed running it, trying to get as much done as possible. But yeah, I think it should be a pretty fun time. And as you can see, this world is looking so cool, right? Lots of things that aren't vanilla already. I mean, like that apple tree. So at least we have a little bit of food now. And we've also got this bridge. What the heck is this thing? That's pretty cool. Doesn't really look like there's any loot in here, though. No, that's all right. But before we carry on, we should probably get our basic tools. And I have actually installed Vein Miner on this mod pack. Oh, well, I don't really know why Vein Mine then, but yeah, Vein Miner is probably about the only thing I added extra onto this mod pack, which of course I will leave a link to down in the description. But let's maybe try to grab ourselves a little bit of stone here, just so we can craft up our basic tools. And can I Vein Mine this as well? Oh, looks like it. Well, there goes the pickaxe. Let's make ourselves a pickaxe. We'll get a shovel as well. And I suppose we'll get an axe too. And who knows, we're probably going to need a sword as well, right? Oh yeah, and I also forgot we got this quest book as well, which if we right click it, this is all going to take us through the mod pack. So we complete a task, get a reward, and what else do I have to do? I've got some torches. I'm confused. Oh yeah, okay. So here's all our main quests. Kill a mammoth. Excuse me? Kill an amethyst golem. Right, this is very flooding. We only have stone tools right now. But anyway, I think for this episode, we're just going to do a little bit of exploring, see what we have around our area. I gotta say, I really like that hill that we spawned on, so probably going to end up building there. So I don't want to lose where I am. What the heck is that thing? Oh, it's like a tower. We should probably go check that out. But yeah, hopefully this video is going to be pretty chill. Just do a little bit of exploring, and of course do a little bit of building. We're definitely going to need to get ourselves a starter house built up. And yeah, like I said before, I just want a chill experience, just seeing what better Minecraft has to offer. Ooh... I mean, it's not chill, but we're probably going to need a bed, right? Sorry, sheep. Oh, wait, I actually just remembered something. If we take our three wool, yes, we can make a sleeping bag. I mean, I was about to call it a portable bed, but I mean, a bed is already pretty portable. But look what we've got here. We've got some cream cow. I thought this was a moo bloom. Hello, ladies. You're cool. I think we'll spare you for now. Another thing I want to look out for is some different wood types, because while we're exploring, we should definitely grab some materials for building a house. And look at this, a water buffalo. I mean, I don't want to kill you, but I do kind of want to see what you drop. Oh, raw beef, leather. Oh, leather, actually. Can we make a backpack? Yes, baby backpack. Oh, literally four leather and a chest. Right, that would actually be super useful, right? So uh, I'm really sorry, water buffalo, but a backpack would be pretty cool. Just got to make ourselves a chest. Oh, I still don't have enough leather. Oh, look at that. Oh, the item just sort of sits in the crafting table. That's so good. Anyway, where was I? Right, now we should be able to make our backpack just like this. Hello? Oh, this is an oak chest. Maybe I need a regular chest. And now we have a backpack. Yo. Can we make anything else with this thing, though? There's this frayed backpack. Oh. Oh no, I think I just made a stupid backpack. All right, well, it's going to have to do for now. We can craft a better one later. I don't want to kill all the cows around this area. Though I think we can actually put this on our back, right? How does this look? <laughs> it's so small. Oh, I love it. What's this? Wild onions? I'll take them. Oh, I may or may not be getting a little bit overwhelmed here. Oh, it's literally got three inventory slots. Are you kidding me? All right, well, backpack's two thirds full already. Oh, and it's getting to nighttime already, which means we can use our sleeping bag now. There we go. And it should break and just go straight into my inventory. Yes. Right, let's check out this tower thing. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a pillager tower. Okay, we don't have any armor yet, but hopefully we can handle this. Maybe just run in and loot up the thing. Got any chests? Okay, crossbow, some wool. I mean, I'll take the string. It's not really that useful. Okay, we're going to have to break this ladder and place it there and jump up. We're getting somewhere. Oh, leather armor. Oh, this is good. Get this on. Another barrel. Emeralds. Yes. Pumpkins. That would be good. Maybe get some seeds out of it. I mean, are these things meant to be spawning in here? I'm not really too sure. I'll take that anvil. That could come in handy later. And we're at the top already. <gasps> Waystone. Oh, that's actually so good. An iron pickaxe. Another iron pickaxe. Some bread we'll take. Probably going to leave the rest of the stuff. Oh, that's a pretty good first looting experience, though. Let's maybe get away from here in case these guys start spawning. Don't want to take any risks. Oh, and another apple tree. May as well harvest these when you see them, right? We've already got six leather, so I could get the better backpack pretty easily. I'm sure there's going to be loads of cows around, right? Let's just grab a couple more leather. Why not? Inventory's getting pretty full already, so... Oh, and I left my crafting table somewhere. Brilliant. Oh, no, I didn't. I just didn't see it in my inventory. Well, honestly, kind of cringe, but... I mean, regular viewers are going to know that's not really a surprise. So with this one, we should be able to upgrade it to iron once we get some iron. Which means this baby pack pack is uh, kind of useless now, but uh, I guess we'll just keep it as a memento of my idiocy. Oh, jeez. Oh, is that new wood? Oh, it just looks like oak, but the leaves are pretty cool. Right, I'm going to keep grabbing apples when I see them, because we don't really have a proper food source yet. I've only been playing this game for like five minutes. Yeah, let's maybe take a little look over this way. Seems like like there's some different biomes over here. 
What was that noise? Oh, I'm wet. Oh, I'm actually dripping. Oh, wait. Oh, that backpack's so cool. With the leather armor, got my sword next to me. Oh, yo, I'm actually looking kind of cool. Even though I already did anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe take a look around here. Maybe find some more structures. I mean, a village would be pretty cool to find, I think. Yo, what's this for us? It doesn't drop anything, but it does look cool. I like this biome as well. These flowers, allium flower bush, tall allium. Yo, that's cool. Right, I think I'm going to try to get up on top of this hill. That way we'll get a good vantage point to see what's around us. Oh, this stone is nice as well. Limestone from the meadow mod. Okay, I like that block. We might have to collect some of that when we start building the house. Oh, mossy cobbled limestone as well. Oh, I'm so excited to start building in this mod pack. We did a little bit of building in the 100 days video, but we didn't really have as much time as we would have liked to to put into building. So I'm definitely excited to get into this. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I don't really want to go caving just yet. Thank you. Oh, a flag. Oh, wait, is that another pillager thing? I mean, we got pretty lucky last time with pillagers not spawning, so and it doesn't seem like they're spawning now. Oh, this thing looks cool, though. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. They are spawning. Um, and we've got a stone sword. We've got some leather armor. We can give this thing a go. Get out of here, buddy. Oh, monster hunter already. Let's go. Please leave. Yep. Half health already. That's uh, not good. Oh. Okay, yep, we're actually quite low. Maybe we're not ready for this yet. Okay, bye. Let's go check out this biome. There's more structures. Oh, they're following me. Okay, just run, just run, just run. This isn't hardcore, but also I don't want to die. And there's already cool stuff over here to look at. I'll make a note of that structure there. We'll definitely come back to that. Give me some cool loot in there. But yo, look at this. Foxglove flower. I'm going to take that. That's kind of cool. Oh, and different wood as well. What is this? Skyris log. You know what? Let's actually vein mine some of this. Well, I'm going to leave that floating tree, I suppose. But yo, look. Oh, blue wood. Oh, I've wanted that in vanilla for ages. Like actual blue wood. That's so cool. Let's actually dump some of this stuff in our backpack. And once again, it's full already. But yo, is this a village? Hello. Oh, it is a village. Yo, it's got names. Brenda. <laughs> Hello, who are you? Yo, you got some chests though. Where's the loot? Wait, what the heck is this thing? Enchanted basin. Oh, quartz glowstone. That's pretty cool. Maybe I got to check the quartz in here. No. Right click it. Oh, something's happening. Um, yep, yeah, not really too sure what this thing is, but I'm going to take it. Oh, quest completed. Craft an enchanted basin. Wait, is that in the quest book? Miscellaneous. Oh, craft a sleeping bag. Oh, I get leather. Oh, I've done a few quests. Get a waystone, some XP levels. Craft a backpack for four iron. Okay. And craft an enchanted basin. I mean, I didn't craft it, but I'll take your five emeralds. Hey, that's pretty cool. All right, must remember to keep looking at the quest books. That gives us free stuff. But yo, this village is looking pretty cool. Nothing really new other than this tent thing, but eh, I guess there's still more to explore. Got some weird flower house here. Well, I guess that's a cow barn. Oh, wait, that's different. That's like an aquarium. Oh, it's like a villager guard. Hello, Rodney. You're not really going to do a great job guarding the inside of that fenced off area, are you? Wow, what a moron. But look, it's like a little aquarium thing. Got some tropical fish in there. Oh, and another one. Sea pickles, a water bucket. That's pretty good. Hmm, but not much else around so far. Oh, I say that though. Waystone. Let's go. Well, there's not really much point in taking this one. So what I might do is activate it. That way, when we place down our waystone, we can easily come back to this village. Oh, oh, it's got one of these message boards as well. These were so cool last time. You basically like pick up a task. So this one wants 12 iron bars to give us a hoe and three emeralds. That's not really a great deal. And there's not really anything I particularly want here. Yeah, that's honestly kind of trash. But that's awesome, though. We've got a village here with a waystone, so we can easily come back to this. Oh, potatoes. Oh, that's actually really good. My favorite early game food. Oh, but inventory's getting pretty full already. I mean, I guess maybe I'll start making my way back to where we spawned. There's obviously plenty more to explore here, but now we have an easy way back with the waystone, so we can continue this adventure pretty easily. Now, I'm pretty sure I came from this direction, so home's over that way. Right, Dino, the village regard. I will be back... Eh, probably at some point in this episode, continue our adventure, but you're doing a great job keeping the village safe, so you keep doing you, buddy. Oh yeah, there's that pillager thing, so spawn must be over this way. But yeah, as we make our way back to spawn, I guess we can talk a little bit about the goals for this series. Now, regular viewers are going to know that I have a survival series running at the moment, just in vanilla Minecraft. And we just wrapped up our first big project over there, building up our nice sort of farming starter villager kind of thing. I guess I'll just throw up a visual of that now for those that don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm playing another big project on that world, but I kind of want to wait for the 121 up update, which I don't think is going to be too far away. So I thought while we're waiting for that, what better thing to do than check out better Minecraft properly? Oh, oh a moo bloom. That is actually a moo bloom. Oh, you're so cool. Yep, yeah, we we'll definitely have to get you as a pet at some point. But yeah, I thought this would be a good opportunity to come back, check out better Minecraft just while we wait. And I guess once the update comes out, maybe this series will end. Or if you guys are enjoying it, of course, we can keep it going. But yeah, we've made it back to spawn now. I think let's maybe plant our oak saplings down because we don't really have trees close to this area. And let's get a crafting table down here. Make our first permanent chest. Boom. 
And now we can finally dump up all of our stuff. Oh, that's good. Let's actually combine these pickaxes, right? There we go. Oh, oh, it's another village right next to where we spawned. Oh, this actually looks like a proper modded village as well. Okay, we definitely have to explore that as well. I think now's a good time to go caving. I can't really remember how dangerous the caves were in better Minecraft, but we definitely need some iron, right? I want to get some full iron armor. I and mean, I guess I can at least make some boots for now. Let's get those on. Let's make some more sticks so we can make some torches when we're in there. I mean, there's only seven sticks, but I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, wait, I've got this wood as well. Not that I actually got saplings for it, but uh, yeah, that's fine. It's right near that village. So we've got wood, sticks, fine. Let's maybe make another chest as well. Oh, imagery management is going to be an absolute nightmare in this, isn't it? Oh, geez. Right, let me get fully prepared and then we'll go cave in. All right, I've crafted a few torches. And now all I've got to do is just find a cave. There's a few holes in this mountain just by our unexplored village. And I really want to explore that, but I think that's going to be a reward for actually going cave in. All right, this is not really a good cave. I guess I'll just continue around the mountain over this way. Oh, hello. Are you lost? Coal? You trade nothing for emeralds? Hello? Air? What the heck is this? Air for emeralds? I'll give you air. Okay, coal, you're kind of weird. Wait, there's loads of these villagers here. What the heck is going on? Oh, and a squirrel. Yo. Did you drop anything? Nope, it didn't drop anything. Oh, geez. Right, you guys, I don't really know what's going on with you. But I'm going to run away because I don't want you to get attacked by zombies. And I'm an idiot and forgot my sleeping bag. So uh, but we shouldn't need to sleep in a cave if we can actually find one. Just got to keep looking. Oh, but this biome is pretty cool. It's like autumnal and stuff. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, oh, wow. Um, Yeah, that definitely doesn't look dangerous. Uh, Screw it. Oh, okay. This is maybe bad. Maybe good. I just want some iron and probably some coal. What the heck is this stuff? Blunite. Yeah, whatever. We're just here for some iron. <gasps> yes. Okay, one bit of iron down. And we I mean, just got to keep exploring. This place is pretty dark, though. Oh, hello. Just blow up. And you got a friend, too. You blow up as well. Oh, yes. Iron and coal. Let's go. This is good. Bit of gold. Right, we're at a good level now, I think. I've got to say these caves are looking pretty vanilla, I guess, other than these other random blocks. What's this? This is pretty cool. Carbonite. Now, I might keep hold of that, I think. Maybe that will come in handy. Oh, geez, I don't like this there, especially a dripstone cave. Why can't we have had a nice lush cave underneath us? Ooh. Oh, that does go lower. Is this going to kill me? Nope, we're good. We're good. Oh, okay, deep state level. Oh, a load of iron there. Nice. First bit of redstone. Right, this is actually not going too bad, you know. I mean, if we could cap this off by finding some diamonds. I've already got 19 iron. Might just make myself a few more torches. Oh, what's this? Deep slate silver ore. I've got no idea what that's for. Uses? Uh, we can make a silver ingot. Oh, there's like silver lanterns. Okay, it's just like a building block or something. Oh, come Combustion table. Gallosphere. Oh, this mod has all sorts of stuff. Sterling chest plate. Oh, that actually looks really cool. All right, but don't get distracted with cave We're not looking at mods yet. I've got to say, I'm really looking forward to delving into some of that stuff. So I think there's all sorts of things we can do in this mod pack. But we're a little ways off that yet, I think. Oh, hello. Please leave. Thank you. Oh, I just noticed the ores kind of like glisten, I think. I swear I saw that happen. Yeah! Yo, that's kind of cool, you know? Makes things easier to spot in the dark. Kind of especially useful when I'm playing in shaders as well. Because things do tend to be a little bit darker than normal. Oh, I really thought that was diamonds then. This is more of that silver stuff. I'll probably grab that as well, though, I think. Once we get rid of these skellies. Morons. Yeah, we should grab this, because this might come in useful. Oh! Oh! I remember this guy! Please! Hello! Yes! Oh, this guy's so good. You can, like, literally double your ores. So I can give him all of this iron ore. 60 iron ingots. Oh, we buy apples for emeralds. That's pretty cool. Um, What other trades can I do? Repair an anvil. Oh, if you give him a fishing rod and luck of the three C, he gives you luck of the C5. Oh, is that efficiency six? Efficiency seven? Oh, that is so cool. So you can get really, really overpowered enchantments from this guy. Christopher. Yo, buddy, you're my new best friend. Wait, did you do copper as well? Oh, he does. Oh, is it worth picking up a bunch of copper? I mean, maybe it is. You know what? Let's at least grab a little bit of it. Oh, wait. He's gone? Hello? Christopher? Christopher! Oh, there he is. Hiya. Copper. Oh, okay. The trade's maxed out now. I wonder when they refresh. All right, well... We got 60 iron. That's pretty good. We should probably just make full iron armor now, right? So I need a helmet... I need a chest plate, and I also need some leggings. So let's chuck this on, full iron armor, let's go. We still got 40 iron left over. I mean, that should be enough for tools for the rest of this episode. I mean, we didn't find diamonds, but we don't need to get them straight away in this series. We are meant to be taking this slow. And I mean, getting iron was so much easier thanks to our buddy Christopher here. Oh, what a good guy. Oh, all right, well, Christopher, I think I'm gonna try and head back up to the surface now. And I guess, um, well, I'll see you guys up there too.
Oh, well, thank goodness for that. That was not a very pleasant game to try and get out of. But at this point, I think we're going to head back home, which now I think about it, I'm actually going the complete opposite way. Yep, yep, there's the mountain with the villages on the other side. But yeah, I'm going to head back there, dump off some of this stuff, and then maybe go check out that other village. So it looked like they were using some pretty cool blocks for their houses over there. Maybe we can take some inspiration for a build of our own. I also really need to sort out a food source because we are quickly running out of apples over here. So hopefully that village can help us with that as well. I mean, worst case, we can just plant our potatoes that we got earlier. I mean, that wouldn't be so bad. Oh, storage is just a nightmare already. But there it is. Let's go check this thing out. Hang on a minute. Is that a red squid? Why are you red? You drop red ink? Oh, wait, he dropped squid. You can eat squid in this? Yo, maybe we can make some like calamari or something. We'll keep hold of that for later. But yo, here we are. Look at this place. Yo, this is cool. Oh, that stained glass. Oh, that is awesome. What is this? Oh, this is limestone and oak planks and stripped pine. Is there pine trees around here? That's a pretty cool block. Is this pine as well? Yeah, pine trap doors. Oh, I do quite like that pallet, you know. Like, this place has a little basement. Big wooden flower pot. What can you do with this thing? I'm not too sure, but plant seeds in it? Sapling? No? Well, I don't know. It's a cool decoration. We'll take it. We're here for inspiration. Oh! <gasps> Oh, nether wart. Yo, look at these drawers and stuff. The sound? <laughs> Listen to the sound of it. Oh, that is actually quite satisfying. All right, so we can make these things. I don't really want to loot the place. I do kind of want to preserve the village. We can definitely get some good inspiration here. Though I say that, I am probably going to take these bookshelves, so they're quite valuable. Little wooden cauldron and stuff. We've got a book with nothing written in it. Oh, it's just a book and quill. Okay. Well, I might actually take that. I literally said I wouldn't loot the village and... Well, yeah, I'm looting it already. But I like those stained glass things. We got some benches here. Noted, these things are pretty cool. And inside, we got a chest with nothing in it. Does this place even have loot? Oh, look at that, a little watering can. Right, this is all from the meadow mod. So that's good to know. I guess this must be like a meadow village or something. Because also this limestone stuff is from meadow as well. Oh, smoker, wood piles. Right, yeah, I think we're going to definitely be exploring this meadow mod for building. At least on the first episode, anyway. Climbing rope. Hello? Can you actually climb it? I don't think so. Oh, oh, I did. Yo, I jump right click it. Shift to this map. Wait, can I go down? I'm so confused at how this works. I'm probably being stupid, but whatever. Just get me up here. Wait, look at that. I have an effect. What is this? Cozy home. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But I have a cozy home effect. Oh, look at this. <gasps> cheese rack. You can make cheese. Are you kidding me? How do I get the cheese out? Give me the cheese. Oh, oh I have a... Oh. Oh my, you can make cheese. I cannot believe this. I'm actually going to be the Lord of Cheese. Give me this. Yeah, I said I'm not looting it, but I am actually just going to take all the cheese. Give me all the cheese. This is my cheese now. I am the cheese lord. <laughs> 17 wheels of cheese. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm going to be a cheese. Oh, oh, there's all the cooking stuff as well. This is so cool. Look at this cool furniture. Right, I'm getting some great inspiration here. Some really great inspiration. We need to try and find ourselves a pine sapling. And I guess off camera, I can just mine a bunch of this limestone. It's literally just everywhere. Oh, no, leave the villagers alone. Not that I've seen a villager yet, but I do assume they live here. Oh, wait, there's more buildings up there. Oh, oil lantern. Pondu. Simply combine bread and cheese and be all set for a memorable feast. I think we have bread at home. We've definitely got cheese now. Oh, pine sapling. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, I really do want to use this palette. So we've got pine, we've got oak already, more cheese, a camera. Oh, only for decoration purposes. I mean, I'm taking it. Take your flower pots too. All right, well, I've pretty much looted the whole village now. What's that noise? Uh, and that was kind of scary. But yeah, I've looted up this village now. And I think it's... Wait, that noise is back. Oh. Oh, what is this? Is this fondue? Oh, this is where you put the bread and cheese. Yo, okay, yeah, we're taking this with us. We're going to make fondue at home. Oh, that was actually the whole fondue set. Oh, okay. I see how it works now. Oh, wait, there's even more village over there. There's so much to explore here. Oh, but I do really want to start building. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. I think we'll head back to base over there. Let's make up a quick fondue. I'll probably go away and just grind some resources to do some building. I think I have a pretty cool idea for what to do. Because to me, that little hill there is kind of screaming out for something in particular. Yeah, but we'll get onto that in a little bit, though. Now, do we have any bread here? Yes, we've got six bread. Okay. I really want to make fondue. This is so stupid. So you put our cheese in and our bread and <gasps> cheese stick. It's giving us a cheese stick. I mean, is this this good food? Honestly, I can't really tell because I'm so full, but 
we're getting cheese sticks now. All right, that fondue machine's really, really loud. I think I'm going to just step away for a second. Cool, that cheese is really bubbling. Oh, the apple tree's been growing apples again as well. Give me all the apples. Who needs a potato farm when you have an apple tree? And cheese sticks. So yeah, I'm probably talking too much. I'm going to go away and grab some limestone. to get a decent amount there, but if I need more, well, there's loads in this mountain over here. But also want to collect up a whole bunch of pine wood. So let's get these things planted down too. And I guess we're going to have a nice little resource gathering montage. See you soon. Well, it's been a little while now. As you can see, the trees have got a little bit out of hand here. But because of that, I have managed to gather up a whole bunch of wood here and also a whole bunch of limestone. Now, I'm still getting some of this smelting into the smooth limestone because as you can see over here, I've laid out a little bit of a block palette for this. And of course, we've got a cobbled limestone and then our smooth. But then from the smooth stone, we can also make limestone bricks and this chiseled limestone. So I think I want to use all of those blocks. And I also laid out three colors of wood here. So we've got walnut, which we found over in the village over there. And then pine, that's the saplings that we found in the chest. And then, of course, we have oak. And I think oak doesn't really fit here. So we're just going to roll with these two. I also came up our little hill here and flattened it all out, got all the grass filled in. So now we have a nice spot to build. But you might be asking, what are you going to build? Unless you saw the thumbnail, which is probably a bit of a giveaway. I'm going to build a castle. Now, going into this, this isn't really what I anticipated I'd be doing. But I mean, if we take a step back here, let's just head down the hill and come and stand by this cow. Is that hill not just screaming out for a castle? I mean, I saw this and now I feel like I don't have a choice. I really need to build a castle. And I think these are some really cool blocks to do it with. So I think to start with, let's maybe just come up with a floor plan. And while I'm doing that, I may as well try and texture it up properly as well. So let's have our cobbled, our bricks and our smooth. And let's also try and craft up one of these trowels. Just two iron ingots and a stick. I mean, that's pretty cheap. There we go. And those of you that have been watching the Create Island series are going to know about this thing. But for those that don't, let's have a little demo of this thing, shall we? This will basically place any blocks I have in my hotbar just completely at random. And then just like that, you've got some automatic texturing. I mean, it's not perfect, but it certainly makes building a little bit quicker. And that's going to be super handy for building a castle in episode one. Seems that may be a little bit of an excessive project, but I don't know. I want to explore building in this mod pack, so I think it's going to be fine. Right, so floor plan time. I'm going to try and cover as much of the top of this hill as I can. Also, I don't want this castle to be too big. Like I said, it's just episode one. We have limited resources. I'm still using stone tools. So let me just get this floor plan down. Going to need to do a little bit of thinking. And I think this should be pretty good. I think at this point, I'll just be showing you a top down view of it just so you can see what we've got going on here. That way, it should give you a better idea of what I'm trying to do. But yeah, I think this is going to be the front here. And of course, we have to work on a staircase coming up. But in here will be the entrance building. And then I think we'll probably have like a doorway here. And then this area should sort of be like a courtyard. Then as for all the other buildings, I'm not really too sure what they're going to be yet. I think this biggest one will probably end up being our storage room. And you can see we've got these little three by three shapes here. We've also got another one over here. These are going to be towers as well as this five by five area here. I mean, as I build this up, I'm probably going to add some more towers too. We'll probably just see how we get on for now though. Now I think next up is actually going to be building up all of these walls. I'll just sort of raise each individual room one by one, just trying to make sure they've got varied height. That way overall, the castle is going to look a little bit more interesting. So all I've got to do is just load up on some of these blocks. I mean, this should be enough to get this done, I think. Though if we end up needing more, it's pretty easy to get with a minor anyway. But I think at this point, we're probably just going to kick it into a cinematic of me building up the walls. Not really too much else to say about it, so I'll see you in a little while. All right, this thing's really starting to take shape now. I think it's looking pretty good. But of course, we still have a lot more work to do. And I think the next job is actually going to be getting the roofs on. And this is where our wood is going to come into play. And I'm wondering, this is better Minecraft. Can we make a wood cutter? Oh, oh, there's two wood cutters. Oh, but this one's from Meadow. It's an iron axe and a pine log. 
I mean, we have a pine log. We have some iron to make an iron axe, which means we can make the wood cutter. Yes. All right, let's place this thing down. Oh, look at that. All like the axe is in the wood. Yo, that's cool. Um, right, so if we check these logs in here. Oh, oh, this is good. Right, give me a bunch of these trapdoors. Give me a whole bunch of stairs. And you know what? Also, give me a whole bunch of slabs too. Oh, this is so good. Well, oh, I'll tell you what I also want to do. Let's come and make some cobbled limestone walls as well. So we'll also use those on the roof. Oh, I wonder though. Oh, we can just make straight up fences. Yo, okay, let's make some of these as well. I'm getting excited with this woodcutter. Um, oh, walnut doesn't go in there. Maybe we need this woodcutter for that one. You know what? We'll come back to walnut. Let's stick with pine for now. Oh, window shutters. Let's make some of those. Jeez, I'm getting pined out of my mind. Oh, wait, there's a different trap door as well. What's this one like? Oh, that one's got like a pattern on it. And this one's just plain. Right. You know, what? I actually think I want the plain one for now. So I'm actually going to craft up a few more of those. And we should be set to start building up this roof. Now, I've done this design build quite a few times. So some of you regular viewers may know about this already. But for those that don't, I think we'll go through it together. Just need to get up on top of the roof. So we're going to put a trim on the roof with some trap doors. And put two of these every other block. Then we'll check our slabs in the gap. And that'll give us a cool little wavy design. Then it's as simple as filling in these gaps with some stairs. Just until we get to the middle. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Two slabs makes a different texture. You know what? I think I'm just going to roll with it. Not really what I intended, but that's fine. But on top of all these blocks here, we're going to put our walls just where it makes sense. So here we'll have some walls. That's not very helpful. Oh, geez. Anyway, if I can pillar up like here, we can just take a look at what I did. Yeah, you can sort of get the idea there, right? There's like a rustic wooden roof. Uh, I'm not too sure about these blocks. Might just switch those out for regular planks. But we've also got this tower roof to figure out as well. So just like we did on that other roof, we're going to put our trap doors like this. But we're going to leave a gap in the middle, which is, of course, where our slabs are going to go. Just like that. And now I'm realizing that I need regular pine blocks. Thank you. Oh, it's windy up here. That wind does actually blow you around, so it's actually pretty dangerous up here. But let's just build up our roof shape. And I think here's where we're going to start bringing in our fences. Oh, they go diagonal. What the heck? Wait, if I put a block there, does it go normal? Yes. All right, diagonal fences. That is pretty cool, but I don't really want that. I'm wondering if I put these window shutters here, that might look cool. Maybe not. You know what? Let's just step down and take a look. I need one way to find out. Oh, it's kind of hard to get a good angle looking at this. Maybe we'll just come back over this way, look from a distance. Oh, um, yeah, I'm not really in love with that. Yeah, tower roof is looking a little bit strange. Definitely like this roof, but we just need to address this part. I mean, ideally, we need like a wooden wall or something like that sort of thickness would be pretty nice. I mean, ironically, this woodcutter would be perfect if it wasn't for the axe sticking out the top. So let's actually see what pine blocks we can get here. Oh, pine palisade. Can we make this? Oh, no, we need two logs. All right, that's actually pretty easy. Oh, OK, we've crafted too many. Um. Inventory is completely full of pine. But yeah, let's get up there and try these out. Let's knock out this fence. Chuck one of these down. Oh, it's a little bit thicker than a fence. Oh, that actually might work. Maybe let's try and knock out these fences as well. Put in these palisade things. And let's maybe knock out these window shutters as well. Not really sure if they're working. And while I'm up here, I'm going to get rid of these weird double slabby block things. Just give me regular planks. All right, fingers crossed this is looking a little bit better than before. I kind of have high hopes. And yes, oh, that is actually so much better. Yes, that's cool. But there is one more thing I actually want to add to the tower roof. And I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to craft this. But while looking at decoration blocks, I found flags. And I think this red flag would look so cool. But to make it, we're going to need some red wool, which of course means we're going to need some sheep. So we've already got a whole bunch of fences. So let's maybe make a little temporary sort of sheep holding pen thing and make use of some of these diagonal blocks. These are pretty cool, you know. Yo, you know what? Give me a gate as well. Thank you, woodcutter. Oh, why doesn't Vanilla have a woodcutter, man? It's so good. And is that a sheep? Hey, do you want to come to a new home? Horn sheep? I should be able to shift right click you and pick you up, I think. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, I'm carrying a sheep. No need for leads and better Minecraft. Boom. Welcome to your new home. Right, let's try finding you some buddies. Oh, there's literally another one right there. That's very convenient. Oh, a zombie villager. Um, you know what? I'm never going to heal you, buddy. Just get out of here and get me to bed. All right, let's pick up some red flowers so we can make some red dye. And can we turn you red? Yes. Oh, so good. Right, I don't really have a wheat field to breed these guys yet, but maybe there's some more sheep around here. Yes. Hey, yeah. This view will never not be ridiculous. Oh, but the castles are looking pretty good from here. Come on, just one more sheep. One more sheep. Oh, yes. There's so many up here. Right. Last one. Come with me. All right, let's need two more red dye. One and two. 
There we go. Now just to make some shears. And give me a red wool, please. Oh, please be six. Please be six. Oh, it's 11. Okay, we're going to need a lot more than that. But, well, we've got unlimited red wool now. And with that... We can make a red flag, yo. I'm so excited to get this on top of the tower. I'm just praying it doesn't look stupid. Hopefully it's not like a really like tiny flag. Maybe it's going to be right for the scale of this build. Yeah, either way, we're about to find out. Let's put it on top of here. Oh, it's not really the way that I wanted it to go, but it's pretty cool. Is it like directional if I place it this way? Yes. Oh, that's how I want it. Right. All right. Good to know that we can choose what direction we want them to face. Let's quickly want to get rid of this scaffolding just so we can pop down and take a look at that flag from a distance. Because once we finalize this, I'm just going to go away and get all the rest of the ruse filled in. All right. Please look good. Please look good. Oh, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool, you know. I mean, it would be nice if it moved, but I don't know. That's pretty cool. Definitely feels like something that could be in vanilla, right? Because it's kind of like a banner, even though banners move in the wind. But yeah, I like it. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go away and get the rest of the ruse filled in. Probably just chuck on a podcast and chill out. And yeah, I'll see you when it's all done. All right. Yes, go on. We'll do a time lapse. Time lapse. <laughs> And just like that, all the roofs are on. Not that we really have a very good angle like that from here. But yeah, this thing's looking pretty good, right? They've got all the exterior details to do, like windows. You need to have a door, maybe a bit of greenery and stuff. I did see these things, oak flower boxes, which is a dirt and a bit of wood. You can actually plant flowers in those. We'll definitely get some of those out there. And if I come in here and search window, I've seen this vinery window, which is just some stained glass, yellow, red, black. I mean, red and yellow, that's pretty easy. Black, we're just gonna have to kill some squid. So I think we're gonna put that on our to-do list. And I know I said I wouldn't loot that village over there. I'm kind of thinking I might go and rip out their interiors just so I have stuff to put in the castle. It just saves me crafting it all up in that. But before we head off and do that stuff, I think I wanna go ahead and upgrade our backpack because I'm pretty sure we can upgrade this to iron and then gold. Yo. And now if we open our backpack, we've got an actual proper chest. So that should come in handy. Oh, and it's gold on my back as well. But let's quickly make ourselves a boat. So we're probably going to need that to get some squid. Might venture out and see if we can find an ocean. But before we go that way, let's go check out this village again. Just so I can collect all the stuff from the interiors. Oh yeah, all this is coming with me. Thank you. Oh, Joe. That's literally me. Hello? Oh, of course he'd be the moron, wouldn't he? Oh man, for context, my real name is Joe. And he's maybe looked like a complete idiot. Which honestly is probably fair. Right, well, I'd say this village has been significantly looted. Got quite a lot of stuff now. This will be super useful for decorating the castle, though. But I think let's maybe head down to the water there and see if we can find ourselves an ocean to kill some squid. Because I'm definitely going to want some black dye to make some of that stained glass for the castle windows. Oh, there is also this tent place over here as well. Have you got any cool stuff? I made an advancement. Oh, hey, this is actually pretty good. We'll drink up this XP. I, mean, I don't want to get too distracted. Yeah, I think we'll come and explore this place another time. Let's just hop on a boat and try and find ourselves an ocean. Oh, look at that. I mean, not quite ocean yet, but there is a tower there. This is probably worth checking out, I think. What have we got in here? A little bit of iron, a few bones. Probably take the emeralds as well. Oh, bookshelves. Right, I have to grab those. But I don't have an axe at the moment. Don't really fancy getting all those with my fist. Hmm, other than that, though, not great loot in here. Well, at least not yet, anyway. A little bit more iron, a few emeralds. Oh, oh, moss. Okay, this is actually really good. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Anything at the top? Oh, there is a chest at the top. Saddle. Waystone! Oh, waystone, that's actually so useful. Plus the saddle. I mean, we haven't found a horse yet, but... Oh, jeez, there's even more structures over there. Right, I really just need to stick to the task at hand. I'll definitely keep note of where this is, though. Because once we get onto enchanting, we know where a load of bookshelves are. Which, honestly, is just the hardest part of setting up the enchanting table. So that is super useful. Wait, I saw a squid. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is an ocean. Come on, give me your ink sacks, please. Oh, yeah, we're getting them. Shouldn't really need too many of these, honestly. Oh, we got a drowned. You're not the squid I'm looking for. Please leave me alone. All right, 10 ink sacks. Could probably use a few more of those. I think let's just keep heading down the river. Maybe we'll find something else cool. Oh, like more squid right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, this biome's looking nice. This is like a proper autumn style biome. Oh, like the yellow and the orange trees up there. Yo, this is cool. Maybe a nice spot for a cozy cabin or something. 
Now at this point, we've got 23 ink sacks, which is 23 black dye. So I think that's going to be enough for what we need. I think exploring more over this way at some point is going to be a good idea. Just right over by that tower there. So for once in my life, I'm going to do something a little bit smart and grab our new waystone. And we'll come and place this up here like that. And if we call it explore here, boom, that way I can teleport home. And when I want to explore again, just teleport back here. And by the way, this other one's the village we found at the start of the episode, which is over in that direction. So now we've got two easy directions to explore in later. But what I need to do now is smelt up this sand. I'm going to need a little bit more charcoal. Then I should be able to pretty easily craft up these windows. Right, I'll see you soon. Well, I was just about to give a progress update and uh, we have a visitor. Oh, he sells like grapes and stuff or oh, grape seeds, wine. <gasps> oh, I think we can make wine. Um, wait, we have emeralds, I swear. I've looted them three here, some more there. Oh, we should definitely buy some seeds, right? Right. Give me one of these. Give me one of these. Let's just buy them all. Right. I think that's literally all of them. I guess we'll just get a couple of each. Yo. Oh, cherry wine gives you regen. Let's buy a few of those too. Oh, nice doing business with you. You got some cool donkeys with you as well. I mean, should I get some free leads as well? Um, you know what? It's a new series. It's a new me. We'll let him go. Let's just keep our seeds safe in here. And yeah, let's have a little progress update. As you can see, I've got all the windows and flower boxes in now. And this is starting to look really cool, you know? So glad I went to the effort of getting that stained glass. But if we take a little walk up here, I have started to sort of tidy up the interior a little bit. You can see we've got a nice big entrance room in here. Another little room in here with a duck and then this leads out into the courtyard we've got another little room in here another room in here and then this leads back into the main entrance hall now i kind of wish i thought about this earlier but we don't really have a good space for a storage room and we've already got so many items so i think we're gonna need a little bit of a bigger area and because of that i think i'm gonna want to do just a little castle extension probably somewhere around the back and I don't really have a whole lot of this limestone left. Definitely need to grab a bit more of this stuff. But let me just quickly grab my trowel. And we can at least mark out an area for a new spot. Which I think I want to be around the back somewhere. Maybe like here in this gap. I mean, some of these windows and flower boxes are going to have to go. But yeah, well, I probably should have thought about this a little bit sooner, shouldn't I? Um, Let's maybe come like from here. Oh, oh, I placed down the bottle. Okay, get this out of the hot bar. Anyway, let's come around this way. Maybe to about here. And then just try and connect it up to the castle again. Just give ourselves a nice big area. I don't really want to interfere with that tower. So let's actually just connect it up here. Just like that. Then let's add another building onto the back as well. Oh, sorry, apple tree. Didn't want to have to do that, but it is going to have to move. All right, we'll do something like this. Probably not explain this very well, but we'll just build this up a little bit more. Hopefully that way we can see what space we got to work with. Yeah, I mean, something like this. We have this whole space here. Plus this bit. We'll probably need to do a little bit more work out the back. Uh, but I think I can make it work. But of course, like I said before, we're going to need a little bit more limestone. And we have some all over there. But I don't really want to disturb the view from the castle. So I think what I'm going to do is take some sticks with me. So I can make some more pickaxes. And if I remember correctly, there should be some limestone around the village. I mean, I could have sworn I saw some around here. Oh, yeah. That's good. Now, I don't really think I plan on building around here anytime soon, so I don't think I'm too worried about destroying the terrain here. Oh, yeah, it's all over by that pillager thing. Oh, it's more water buffalo. He looks so funny, man. Look at his face. <laughs> oh. Right, I'm going to mine up a bunch more of this limestone and get it all processed into the blocks that we need. And I think at that point, we'll just roll into another time lapse of building up the castle. I mean, you all know what I'm doing by now. So I'll see you when that's all done. And hasn't this thing made a massive difference? Well, I've taken a step back here so we can look from a distance. And yeah, this is just looking so much better. I mean, at this point, I'm pretty glad we didn't have space for a storage room. Because now that this thing's there, I can't really imagine it without it, you know? You'll also see I've added some more windows, some planters. Not that the flowers render from here, but I have put them in, I promise. And I also made this flag here as well. Oh, thinking about it. The flags don't render in from this far away either. Right, let's swim up and just take a closer look. Oh, flags are starting to pop in now. There we go. Everything's rendered in now. Oh, this thing's looking so good. We'll just take a little quick look at the back as well. So I did add some windows and stuff over here. You can see this thing's pretty tall when you're stood on the ground, right? But yeah, I've added windows going all the way around here. And I also did this cool triangle style window here as well. Once we head inside, you'll see what I did that for. Because I did actually start working on the interiors a little bit. Not done any decoration or anything like that, but just kind of figuring out the floor plan. But if we head inside here, 
This is where we added the extension. And yeah, this is where our storage room is going to be. So we've got this room here and then also this room as well. And of course, this is the big triangle window. Kind of had to put this here, otherwise we weren't really going to get much light. But we've got a whole load of room upstairs and we can also go down as well, just in case we need to expand our storage. But I think for now, this is going to be pretty good. Probably start off on this room with a bunch of chests and then this will maybe be like a work room with like furnace and stuff. But of course, we have a whole bunch of other rooms as well. And I've kind of had an idea for this. I kind of thought it'd be cool if we had each room dedicated to a mod. So that means obviously we're not meant to decorate all of these today. We'll get these done as this little mini series progresses. But I think at the very least today, we should probably get this tidied up and maybe decorate the courtyard as well. And of course, build our storage room. But as you can see here, I've used these walnut planks for the floor. And I think this is looking super nice goes really well with the limestone. So I'm going to get all of this placed down in the floors. And of course, I'm going to leave the courtyard. I think we'll just keep this as brass. But once I've done that, we can actually start decorating out the storage room because the chest monster over here is getting a little bit ridiculous. And I always had a creeper blow up the chest. So um, so yeah, this thing's not really that safe anymore. I got a whole bunch of walnut here. This should be enough to get the floors filled in. Just a matter of placing a whole bunch of blocks. And there we go, floor's all done. I think at this point, I really want to get the storage room sorted out. <laughs> That's probably the biggest task that I actually have to do this episode because, oh boy, I have so many items just scattered around here, all just completely unorganized. Yeah, it's not looking great. So this is the chest that we got when we looted all the interiors of that village. Got a bunch of these cheese racks. Got these shelves. Do these actually act as storage? Oh yeah, they're like little cupboards, I remember now. The ones with the cool noise. So let's get those. I guess we'll just display some cheese in there, why not? In fact, I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of this stuff. And I suppose let's also craft up a whole bunch of chests as well. I think we'll go with these oak ones. Right, 24, that should be good. Right, let's maybe get our shelves running under the window here. I think they look pretty cool. And let's maybe have chests like this underneath the roof. Oh nice, we can get six double chests there. And they should still open because these blocks are actually stairs. Let's also do the same on this side, just like that. Maybe a couple more shelves here. Oh, if we stack them. Oh, that's cool. It's actually like a bookshelf or something. All right, this is already way more storage than we have down at the bottom. But in here, I think it's going to be like a crafting area. So let's get these smokers down to cook some food. Let's maybe just make some new furnaces as well. I think these should be pretty good. With maybe some shelves above them. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I wonder, can I turn this crafting table into like an actual dining room table? I've run out. Um... How do you craft these? Oh, there's pine slabs and some sticks. Got some slabs in my backpack, which means we can complete our table. Yeah, the legs look a bit weird, but maybe I can fix this. Yeah, that looks all right. Let's maybe plonk a few chairs down as well. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, I like it. And I mean, this is completely pointless, but we have a bit of a weird space here. So let's maybe just have like a little cheese rack. Oh, so much cheese. We're full of cheese. Let's put some cheese on the table as well. Oh, and you know what goes with cheese? Wine. Please let me place it down. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is actually so cool. Let's maybe store some more wine up here as well. I know it's like a regen thing, but I don't know. It's pretty cool as decoration. Really interested in this vinery mod though, you know? I mean, look at this. It looks like there's so much you can do with this. You know what? This might be what we end up doing next episode because all this wine and stuff is basically just potions. So this might be worth exploring. Imagine like a nice vineyard out the front here, or we could even make like a little wine cellar, some stairs coming down here. Yep. We're doing wine next episode. It's happening. But we've also got these oil lanterns here, which I'm wondering, can they just go on the wall? <gasps> oh, oh, they just hang on the wall like that. Right, let's get rid of these torches. I don't really want torch spam in a decorated room. Let's chuck some of these up here. Maybe we'd have a lantern on the table. And I wonder... Oh, they do hang from up there as well. All right, this is good. This is good. I mean, is this light enough in here? Probably. But I got a whole bunch of these wood log thingies. Might just pile up some of these here. Bit of a space filler. I take it back. It looks stupid. Maybe let's just pile some on top of these shelves or something. Eh, that looks all right. You know what? I think I'm just going to make some more of these shelves. I mean, these are pretty cheap to make. Yeah, get these in here. Let's make a nice little bookshelf storage thingy here as well. One last thing I think we should do in here, though, is maybe try and get some paintings in. Plus this extra chair. Right, for that, we're going to need some wool. Luckily, I have some shears. We got a sheep right here. And I don't know if we're going to be able to make some sort of modded paintings or anything, but that gives us a normal painting. If I search painting or oh, a fancy painting. Hey, I'm fancy. Right, a painting and a gold ingot. Yeah, we can do that. We've got plenty of gold in our cruddy storage area. Thank you. And let's make one of these fancy paintings. This better be worth it. It costs a gold ingot. Right, I think a painting should go... Maybe like on this wall. Ooh, oh, that is fancy. Can you get different ones? Can I right click it or something? Nope, just got to break it and replace it. Oh, look at that. What's that, like a coast with a 
ship or something. I don't know. It doesn't really feel very medieval. What else can we get here? Oh, a nice sunset. Sunset again. The green thing again. And the ship again. All right. I think it's just three paintings. I guess we'll just stick with the green one. I guess over here would be a good spot for another painting. But I'm going to get all the items moved up into the new storage room. Maybe do a little bit more decoration in here. And I also might sort out this courtyard. I need to get some archways in here. Maybe some doors. Yeah, right. Quite a bit to be getting on with. And it's probably going to be a little bit boring. So I'll see you when it's all done. And here we are. Everything's moved in now. You can see just temporarily, I just moved our waystone into the main entrance hall. And here is the finished storage room. It's looking so atmospheric. I really love all the little details and stuff. And of course, we've also got this room in here where I have managed to get all my items pretty organized. A lot more organized than they used to be anyway. But yeah, as I was moving items up, if I could use something as decoration, I just plonked it down somewhere. You can see we got all our cheese making stuff up there. We got the camera, we got our plant pots, got these little doormats. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far. I also put a front door on the castle. So when you're looking from here, you've actually got like a proper archway, proper entrance. And I also did that to all the doors in the castle. But all the interior archways have open doors just so we can easily walk in and out. And yeah, as you can see, the courtyard's all decorated up as well. I mean, just a bit of bone mill and some path block. Not really too much to say about that. Oh, hello. Uh, could kind of use your ender pearls. Um, oh, screw it. Come on. Drop your eyes, please. Well, no eyes, but hey, free grass block. But with that, guys, we'll take one final look at the castle for this episode. We, of course, still have a whole lot more to do on the inside, but we're going to be saving that for future episodes. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!